Hello, my name is Devin. I work for the El Center Valley Municipal Water District and I work for the Field Services Department. Here in Field Services, we maintain and replace all the water meters in the district. So in front of me are a wide array of possible water meters that you might find outside your home. We're, in a few, we're going to talk about how to read those meters and how to see if flows going through. But first, what is water meter? Really quite simple. As water passes through, it registers the flow, telling us how much water has passed through the meter. Thus, we give that read to the billing department and then they know how much to bill you for the services provided. So, let's learn how to read a meter now. So here in the census I style, we read the first four digits. So the meter read is 2486. And if water was flowing through this meter, this red circle right here would be spinning. To read the census E dial meter, you flip open the cap, give it a second, the screen turns on. We read the first four digits, so the read is 251. If the first digit or two is a zero, you just skip it. We only read the first four. And if you want to get your flow rate, obviously the numbers will be going upwards here and an arrow facing to the right would indicate on the screen. But you can also view your flow rate, close it, wait a moment, reopen it, and now you see the flow rate is listed in gallons at 0.0. .0. The decimal is actually over here just so you know, on the right side. So next we're going to read a census I pearl meter. Flip open this cap here and read the first four digits. The read is 7213. Always read the first four. No flow rate screen on this meter, but the numbers will be increasing if water is flowing. Last meter we're going to be showing you are these Neptune meters. These are the meters we're currently putting into the ground. Flip open the cap. Now the read will not usually display right away because there's a solar panel. So if your meter is under a tree, behind a fence, something with low light, you do need to put a flashlight on. Usually your smartphone flashlight will turn it on, but LEDs always work better. So you see the read here is 143. We read the first four digits, so we can ignore the zero. Now if you wait about 10 to 15 seconds, that's a low, that's a low light indicator, ignore that. If you wait a little bit of time, the flow rate screen will show up. It's pretty obvious it's only going to show three digits on the far right hand side. So right here you see the flow rate is 0.0, .0 and you just have to wait and it will cycle between the read and the flow rate. Here at the district we use an AMI system or an automated meter infrastructure. So what this means is every single water meter has a radio hooked up to it like this. These radios are typically mounted to your meter lid, so be careful when removing your lid if you ever need to check your meter or turn off your water. So the cool thing about these is, is they read the meter every single hour, 24 times a day. And a handful of times a day, it uploads that read to a server, and you can actually view that on Aquahawk. So what Aquahawk is, is you can go online and have a graphed out report of when your water was used, how much water was used, hour by hour, as long as your radio has made contact with our network. Well, I really enjoyed telling you guys about how to read your meter, how to see it's flowing, what AquaHawk is, and how we read your meter with our AMI system. So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to call the district, and we'll tell you whatever you need to know. Thank you. You guys have a nice day.